All right, what is up my brothers? In this video, I wanna to talk to you gentlemen about overthinking and uh, when it comes to dealing with women. Um, I've been dealing with this uh, conversation for years now and a super common mistake I see guys make all the time in, in relationships. It usually happens in relationships, but I see it um, happen as well with guys that are just kind of like dealing with women because they're trying to date a few simultaneously, AKA spin plates and uh, you know, consider some options. And dudes really do love to complicate their lives and justify why they do it. And it's not just men that do it. I mean, women do it too. I have some female clients of mine that I've dealt with. Um, but it seems like men, because of their thirst for women and the struggles that a lot of them tend to have is, you know, like I see it in groups all the time where it's like, you know, they'll post a screenshot of, let's say something like a field report, which for those of you that aren't familiar with that is really just, you know, here's my text thread and they post it in a private discussion group, whether it's on a forum or on a, or on a Facebook page talking about, hey, I did this and then she did that and then we did that and then I said I was gonna call and she didn't answer her phone and da 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 and it's like all this sequence of things that, um, you know, lead up to them, you know, being perplexed and saying, hey guys on the internet, help me out with this, why am I not getting the results that I want? So to answer that question and to help you guys a little bit more with this, you kinda need to get out of your own way, okay, if I'm being honest. the concept of unplugging is difficult for some to understand and even if you do understand it and you have read my book a lot of guys struggle with the acceptance of it okay so I'm gonna say this again the concept of unplugging is very very important if you haven't read my book the unplugged alpha it's pinned in the top comment uh, you can get it on Amazon it's available in print Kindle and audible I narrate it myself but the first step in unplugging is you have to become aware of your own bullshit okay I'm going to say that again. The first step is become aware of your own BS. The second step is becoming aware of the BS around you. So let me give you an example. Um, we live in, in strange times today where we have this beer bug thing still going on. It's, it's been going on for a few years now. And we're seeing guys that are unable to do certain things. And there's some guys that can you know sort of see the code in the matrix, if you will, and they're like, okay, I understand why they're doing this. And... Um, you know, there's these motivations behind it. So they, so they understand the BS coming at them. Most guys, you know, if I'm being honest, are plugged into society's lies. They're plugged into the government mandates and everything that kind of ties into that. And they're very happy to go lucky to go along with it. Um, so there are some that can see their own BS and, you know, not see the, the uh, state BS, you know, if you will, if that makes sense. So again, the first step is becoming aware of your own bullshit seeing the world around you and becoming aware of the bullshit around you is the second step. Both are very, very important. Now, back to the getting out of your own way, how the hell are you gonna get out of your own way if you don't see your own bullshit, okay? Which is what I'm basically driving at here. You need to understand that for the most part, a lot of guys, when you're struggling with clarity, especially when dealing with women, is the, the meatball between your ears is usually the main obstacle and it's and it's getting in your way because you're overthinking shit. Women aren't that complicated, you know, for being honest. Any guy out there that has figured them out, they've done the work on themselves, they've made the money, they've gotten rid of the belly fat, they're not a you know, they're not a slob, they've got style, you know, they've basically maxed out looks, money, status, all that sort of stuff. If you want to see more on the seven pillars that I talk about, I'll put a card up in the top right. Uh, it was a bit of a longer podcast episode, but it's definitely worth watching. But the point being is, you need to get out of your way and get out of your own head. Don't overcomplicate shit. If she digs your vibe, okay, she will literally do just about anything to get with you. Um, you know, there's old stories from dating coaches and from the Mano Swamp <laughs> spheres of, of things where they would talk about, you know, uh, like women will basically jump through hoops to make sure that she can get with a guy that she deems high enough value. Um, the key thing is here is that the best way to get to this place is to establish yourself as that guy of that caliber and then you can kind of get out of your own way. One of the most common things that I see with a lot of dudes that overcomplicate scenarios, text threads, field reports, 
what happened on date one and date two, and it's like, well, you know, you got to get in this, this, and that, and think about her hypergamous, da 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 It's like, guys that are getting good results with women, that have an abundance of them, all around them, that they can choose from, <laughs> in some cases, guys are like trying to hide from it, they're like, yeah, I'm too busy, I don't want to deal with that. You get what I'm saying, though, but guys that have their shit together, have leveled up everywhere in life, they don't really care that much about the opinion of other people, especially women. I texted her, she didn't get back to me. I called her, she didn't answer. Whatever, call the next chick, right? Text the next chick. You've got a rotation going on because women demand your time. Again, they'll do literally anything if they see you as a high enough value guy. So it's not always, well, if I had responded with this witty banter line and copied and pasted this text thread instead from this dating coach and then this pickup artist said that and this guy on the internet or YouTube or Reddit or whatever, it's like they'll just spend way too much time complicating their life and then justifying why they do it and then they don't get the results that they're looking for and then they get frustrated and then they literally go on the internet looking for the advice from people that really aren't that qualified to dispense it when all they really need to do is stop caring so much, get out of their own way, and they probably have shit that they gotta deal with, you know, themselves. Are you still fat? Lose a damn weight. Do you have terrible style? Fix that. You got a bad haircut, or you're holding on to scraps because you're balding. Shave your head, or get a transplant, or whatever you gotta do to fix what it is that is, you know, gonna be a detriment to your game, or getting positive responses, you know, from women. But don't spend too much time on women. It's not a good return on your investment. I gotta get this stupid thing off my head. It's not a good return of you know your time invested in life in general, trying to figure out why these random broads that you know you're trying to spend a few minutes with, a few hours with, or maybe a lifetime with, depending on what it is. Why are you complicating it? Relationships with women should be easy and fun. Okay, I'm gonna say that again. This will be my wrap up point here. Relationships with women should be easy and fun. There should be a payoff, okay? It should be lucrative to some degree. Um, you know, I used to talk to entrepreneurs when they were starting up businesses about making sure they set up something that's easy, lucrative, and fun. You know, we call it an elf business, easy, lucrative, and fun. It's kind of the same thing with women. Why do you want to chase these women? Why do you want to chase these broads? Give them unlimited free attention when they don't generally have genuine burning desire for you. That's chapter three in my book, by the way. Again, pinned below, shameless self-promotion. But you should read it if you haven't seen it. Um, why would you want to waste your time on that? Your time is better served. It's only 24 hours in a day. You're going to be spending, you know, seven to eight of them sleeping. You're going to spend a certain amount of time sleeping and doing other things. Why do you want to burn through your available time in a day, you know, chasing down tail or trying to figure out why uh, you know, a woman didn't respond to you because of a certain text thread or she didn't answer when you said you were going to call or any of those things. It's just, it's unnecessary, you know, it really is. The primary objective in your life should be chasing excellence, not women. But a lot of people still overcomplicate that and they spend too much time chasing women rather than excellence. I'm going to say it again. Most of the shit in your life sorts itself out if you've level, if you've maxed out in all areas of your life, life, those seven pillars that I talk about in my Unplugged Alpha podcast, I want you to go look at that card up on the top right afterwards. If, I mean, if you're serious about diving deeper into these concepts and understanding what women truthfully respond to and makes them chase you, basically, is maxing out in all those areas. But I digress. You know, a lot, a lot of guys out there want to spend more time trying to figure out why. Becky didn't respond to their text thread or why Nancy didn't answer the phone or why, you know, they only got one date out of the girl and uh, she's now ghosted him sort of thing. It all boils down literally to the same thing. She doesn't see you as the best option and you're spending way too much time overthinking it when you should probably reinvest that time on yourself on something that's going to pay a dividend off to you, right? Anyway, um, I'm sure some of you guys have experienced this and have some uh, stories from the trenches to share. That's what the comment section for. Uh, take a look at the uh, top pin comment if you want to grab my book, if you're interested in joining my men's community and leveling up in life. There's lots of useful links there, so you check them out. I'm not going to run through them all. I hope you guys have a really good day. And again, first step in unplugging, 
becoming aware of your own bullshit. Second step, becoming aware of the bullshit around you in the world. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Peace out.